Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. This time guys, we are going to create a Wear OS project with Jetpack Compose and I know you guys are excited for it and I am also excited about this. So let's get started. So first thing first guys, you can see on my screen, I've got a Wear OS emulator open, I've got a Wear OS project open, but looking at this Android project, do you think it actually feels like it? Android project, just look at the project structure of it, right? Now, some of you might not understand the difference and or what I'm talking about. So let's see a basic Android project first, okay? So guys, let's say if I go to file and I go to new and I go to new project and I uh, select any basic activity project, right? Any basic activity project and I go next, 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 finish, name it, then I will get a project like this. Okay, here you can see guys that uh, in case of Android, we have got a REST folder, resources folder. This resources folder has got multiple other folders. And if I click on any of the XML file inside this, you can, you can see by design that actually this XML file is defining all your UI components. Okay, so this XML file is actually having what is the bar layout, which toolbar to load, what will be the width, what will be the height, so all the uh, UI components in case of a basic Android project or the projects we, we are always, uh, you know, creating up till now is actually specified in an XML. Now, there are certain drawbacks to using an XML. One of the drawbacks is that as developers, we are actually more uh, inclined towards using code right, rather than using XMLs, because XMLs is not that much restrictive about what it is doing. And it is, it is like more methodical, I would say more just, uh, you know, just lines of thing. And uh, code is much more descriptive. But one of the major reasons is that if I make a change in an XML, I actually have to rebuild my app again to see the effect, right. So here you can see that this is an emulator, right. Now, let's say if this program, this application was actually rendering this emulator, then if I make change in this XML, I actually have to rebuild my code and, you know, run it again to actually see the effect, right? This is not we want because, you know, we are the developers and we, uh, we don't have much time. We want to see instant results. So we want to have something which, you know, we just change it and then instantly we see the effect in the emulator if it's working or if it's not working and, you know, go further with our lives. Now, to actually remove this drawback, we have something called as Jetpack Compose, okay? Now let's see if I create a project with a Jetpack Compose, how does it look like? But before looking at this project right now, let's go see how we can create a project with Jetpack Compose. So just go to File, you go to New Project. And in our scenario, we are actually going to create a VROS project. So just click on VROS. And once you click on VROS, you can see one single option that's called as empty compose activity. Then you just click on next, give your project a name, and there you go. You will have a project structure exactly like this. Okay. Now in this project structure, you can see that the basic files are already there. So Android.manifest XML, which is actually a description of your application. Uh, what is going to be your main package name? What is going to be your main launcher activity? This description is there in this application manifest.xml. So this was there in previous uh, version of Android projects also in this version also. There's nothing new in it. But look at the rest folder now. You will see that the rest folder is actually not having anything. It's just having values where there are some string values defined. So for example, this. And then other than that, this is actually, so these are some, uh, you know, images. But other than that, there are no UI components which are defined here. So where are the UI components defined? Like how am I able to render this emulator? So let's go to the main activity.kt file here. So this is a Kotlin project guys. And uh, once you do a Kotlin project in uh, Android, you will get a main activity.kt file. And this main activity is actually defining all the UI components. Now let's compare this file with the previous file. So you can see this file, how less the code is, right? You just have something called as a on create function, which is obviously same as that of the previous version, 
But in this on create function, I am just using a method called as set content and I am passing something of a class object which is a VR app class object. Okay. Now, just for a short comparison, I'll go back to my previous uh, Android project and look at the main activity here. Here also we have an on create function, but here you can see that we are doing a lot of things, right? So we are actually importing the layouts. So this layout inflator and uh, then we are, you know, checking our graph, uh, sorry, we are checking a component. So using r dot id dot the name of the component, you are actually able to access the component from the XML file. And then you are using this uh, component, you are setting some listener on it, you are making some graph on it or whatever the things you are doing. But look at the amount of code that is being written here. Even though all the UI is defined in the XML, onCreate is actually doing certain things to bind everything together. But in case of, although this is a much more basic project than that one, I would say that in this case, you have to write a lot less code also, and it is more descriptive, okay? Let's see how here we are rendering it. So first of all, you are using set content and then you are passing a class object. But what, uh, sorry, sorry, not, not a class object, but a uh, composable function. So this composable function is having this decorator composable. And basically, if any function is having this decorator composable, what does that mean? It basically means that this is composing your UI. So this is a component. It is actually going to get rendered, right? So this uh, component is actually having something called as VROS theme. And what is the VROS theme? VROS theme is another composable object, which is actually a material theme. So guys, material theme is basically, uh, you know, it is an object uh, of, of our composable material jar. Yeah, so basically, these are certain UI components which Android APIs are already, you know, they have already created for us. All we have to do is use them to make our UI look really good. So this material theme is actually a, a, actually a container-like component. And in this container-like component, you can fit in all your components, all your text boxes, all your buttons and all that, right? So here you can see that first we actually create a container. So this is how a UI look like. First you create a container, then you specify columns in it or you specify rows in it because at some point in time you have to make sure that your components are aligned so if you want to have a column like an al alignment you can add a column and then inside the column you can add the certain other components if you want to have a row like alignment then you can have a row right basically any type of alignment you want you can do that with jetpack compose also now you can see that this inside this column actually I am passing a greeting and this greeting itself is also a composable object which is actually returning us a text composable object and this text composable object is having a string value which is this okay and obviously this value is going to get uh, you know picked up by strings.xml so if it's a round watch you will get value from this string and if it's a square watch you will get value from here. Now, you can see that, uh, you know, this composable object so, and, and also you can see that we have created a default review also in which if it's a, if it's a, if it's a round watch, then how it will show. So it will initially show us preview and right. This will be the default, but because we are not having any error, our application is working, you know, pretty fine. So we are not seeing a default view. We actually see a actual correct string which is from the round world hello super lazy okay so there are two greetings which are we are rendering the first greeting is this and the second greeting is this now what i want to do is i want to see that if i make a change in this greeting so let's say i don't want to write super lazy right i want to write listen uh, let's say subscribers subscribers now let's see my emulator and you can see, awesome, right? I didn't have to build my code again. I didn't have to restart my emulator again. Nothing. It just, it you know, deployed on it instantly. So wasn't that powerful? So there you go, guys. With Jetpack Compose, you can do more with less code. 
you can describe your ui as you want because you can actually write comments on the code and you can you know make sure that it is descriptive and it's understandable you can accelerate your development because you can see instant changes and you know live previews basically and it's really powerful because you get the inbuilt support of android apis like material themes dark themes and some animations as well okay so there you go guys that was an introduction to jetpack compose how you can create powerful android wear os applications with it i hope this in video was informative for you guys and you did learn something from it if it did help you in any way guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and if you have any questions comments suggestions for me please write down in the comment section below i would be happy to answer them and in the end if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please i request you to do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye